This is the tripod I made for this stove. Uh, it has a little ledge to put the fuel in. It's pretty sturdy stuff. Then you just put a penny in there. And that was your pot stand as well. Oh. Jeff built as this stove. I don't know how much you can see here, but it has a simmering. Yeah. Basically, I want to try and see if I can cook a steak with it. So, I'm just going to use this for now. My tripod. to light seems to be working like a gem initially put the um, frying pan on top uh, got the, the fat too hot tried to put the steak in and it just whoosh, spitting all over and that's which obviously I'm doing a wild camp I don't want it spitting all over the place be cooking outside but if it's bad weather I'll try and keep it in, in sort of like in the porch and I don't want it spitting all over my tent and everything the fat but at the minute it just seems to be simmering away nicely and if I keeps like that, Jeff will have succeeded in his mission to create a stove to cook a steak. The next thing is making some sort of calandra cone so that, obviously not the frying pan I'm using there, but uh, I'm after a titanium frying pan. Uh, obviously get a calandra cone to fit that. Your jobs are good. Well, that sticks seem to have uh, cooked. Cut into it so you can see it. Well done, the way I like it. Cheers, Jeff. That's very nice. <laughs> when I put 25 mil in, of uh, methylated spirits. Uh, I should have timed it really. It's not much of a test. I was just just having a go of it really, and uh, it's still going. You know, it's just. I probably might have needed a half, not even half that what I've used to cook to cook the steak. You know, and that's cooking it well done. So I'm going to enjoy it now. As again, thanks, Jeff. Much appreciated.